In this video, I'm going to demo the paid version of Keywords Everywhere and discuss why you still might want to consider it one of your top tools for keyword research. It's always a bummer when a free tool goes to a paid model. I've been touting Keywords Everywhere as one of my go-to free tools for keyword research for several years now. But unfortunately, on October 1st, 2019, they went to a paid model. Basically, what you have to do now is buy credits and then every time you do a search, you use a percentage of those credits. If you go to their September 25th, news post on their website, you're going to see why they decided to go to this paid model. In a nutshell, it's basically because they were getting inundated with bots and those bots were wreaking havoc. So I don't necessarily blame them. Now it's quite likely that you've seen one of my other videos touting keywords everywhere as the easiest way to do keyword research. So in this video, I wanted to do a follow up on the new paid version of it. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to discuss why I still think it's your go-to keyword research tool as a small business or marketer. I'm Michael Quinn and this channel is dedicated to small businesses, entrepreneurs, and marketers looking for easy to understand search engine marketing tips. If you like what you've seen at the end of this video, hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, you're going to want to install the Keywords Everywhere extension onto your browser. To do that, go to keywordseverywhere.com and just click either the install for Chrome or install for Firefox. Once you've got that installed, uh, I'm just going to do a search. And if you've ever used Keywords Everywhere in the past, you might recall anytime you would do a search uh, in your Google browser, basically underneath the search bar and your keyword, you'd see some keyword metrics. You used to see search volume, cost per click, and competition. Well, that's no longer available because Keywords Everywhere has gone to a paid model. Now, what you still will see in your browser is the related keywords and the people also search for. I highly recommend you click this uh, button here that says Keywords Everywhere is now a paid tool. It's going to pull up a post from September 25th, 2019 that describes why they had to go to a paid model and also why they've decided to go to a credit model. In short, it's basically because they were being highly uh, attacked by bots and they felt that the credit model uh, was the best solution. So they've gone to this credit model. They've still tried to keep the price incredibly low. And so in this video, I want to walk us through getting set up with the new paid version and why I think it's still a very viable and inexpensive tool and why I still recommend that you use it as part of your uh, marketing and keyword research process. So let's say we don't use the paid version. You still can can glean some pretty valuable data here. While yes, you're not going to be able to see the actual search volume, you're still going to see some uh, related keywords. And so from a marketing and just content creation standpoint, I would say some of this is still going to be very valuable, even if you don't use the paid tool. For example, if I'm trying to come up with uh, some SEO ideas or some content regarding Invisalign, I already can see, oh, wow, you know, people obviously would be searching for the price, the process, um, reviews, and without even knowing any search volume, I can already tell that Keywords Everywhere is most likely uh, going to show me the ones that already get searched. If I come down to people also search for, you know, things regarding insurance, am I a candidate? These are all really valuable things that even if you don't use the paid version, you can still come in here and utilize it for your keyword research. But if you do want to upgrade to the paid version, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your uh, browser extension. So you're going to go up to 
uh, the top right corner of your browser. You're gonna find the keywords everywhere extension um, icon. And then what you're gonna do here is you are going to go to purchase additional credits. Now you're gonna see that to buy credits, it starts at $10 and that's a one-time fee and that's gonna get you $100,000 credits. Now keep this in mind, it's one credit equals one keyword. So if we go back to our um, Invisalign search, basically if we wanna pull up related keywords, that's gonna cost us eight credits. If we wanna see the people also search for, it's gonna cost us 27 credits. So 100,000 credits is still gonna go a very long way. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna buy some credits and then we're gonna dive into using the paid version of Keywords Everywhere. So I've gone ahead and I've purchased $10 worth of Keywords Everywhere credits and that's gonna get me 100,000 keywords. So if I go up to my Keywords Everywhere icon on my browser, you're gonna see that I've now got 100,000 credits available. So I've jumped back over to my Invisalign Dentist keyword search and you can see that now that I've got credits, the metrics show up on my Google search um, search results here. And I can already see like the tool of old, the search volume monthly, the cost per click and the competition. Now that cost me one credit. As you can see, if I pull up my keywords everywhere uh, icon in my browser, that used one credit. So every time you do just a basic search on Google, it is going to cost you one credit minimum because it's gonna show you this in the search results page. Now, if I want to then go over and, and see the metrics for my related keywords and people also search for, I will need to load these and use credits. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see that now I'm able to see the monthly search volume for each of these related keywords, the cost per click and the competition. If I go up to my keywords everywhere, I've used now eight credits uh, for a total of nine credits for that. So one thing that I'm noticing here is just like I mentioned earlier, uh, you can see that without even having the search metrics data that it was showing me basically from top to bottom the, the related keywords that get the most searches. So even if you wanna go ahead and use keywords everywhere without paying for credits, you can kind of sense that it's gonna show you the uh, highest search to lowest, right, in general. Now let's go down to people also search for. And again, just like before, now I'm seeing the average uh, monthly search volume, the cost per click and the competition, and it's sorting it by from most searched to least searched, so that's great. The cool thing is I can export this as a CSV, whether I'm using the paid version or the non-paid version. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that and let's pull that up. So I've opened up the CSV file and you can see that this is what the spreadsheet looks like. Uh, it's going to show me the same data in terms of keywords, search volume, cost per click and competition, but I've now got it in this nice spreadsheet file. However, I did wanna show you on the flip side, I also downloaded the version that if I hadn't used any credits or if I was still using the free version of Keywords Everywhere, um, this is what it would look like. Now, you'll see that the keywords are slightly different, so I'm not going to get the search volume cost per click and competition. And I'm also not getting the full list of keywords as well. So you'll see the first one here starts with Invisalign Online, Insurance and Case. And if I go back to my other one, we've got uh, Cost, Definition, Case and Online. So when I've actually paid for the, cre uh, paid for the Keywords Everywhere tool, it sorts it by search volume. However, that doesn't seem to necessarily be the case 
um, with the unpaid version. I also wanted to hop back into the browser and show you the difference. So here is the Keywords Everywhere tool. If I haven't used any uh, credits, you'll see I've got price, process, phone number, insurance, and reviews. And I'm gonna show you how it looks a little bit different. It actually seems to be showing me some additional keywords and sorting it by search volume like I mentioned earlier. So I was maybe incorrect when I stated that the free version would sort it by search volume. That only looks to be the case with the paid version. So now I wanna show you a couple other websites that Keywords Everywhere works on, starting with Bing. So on Bing, it's gonna be a little different than Google. The, um, the results are not gonna show up on the side and they're not even gonna show up under the search bar. You actually have to scroll all the way to the bottom of the search engine results page and you're going to see the related searches here uh, with the metrics. The one thing that's different about Bing is you also can't download a CSV file from what I can tell. So Bing is another website you can utilize. I also wanted to mention YouTube because uh, Keywords Everywhere also works on YouTube. So if you wanted to do some uh, keyword research on, on how things are trending on YouTube, I type in Invisalign Dentist, I can see again how much search volume that gets, the cost per click and the competition. Again, there's no um, downloadable CSV and I don't believe there's a related searches, yeah. I don't believe that there's a uh, anything that's gonna show related searches on YouTube, but at least for the search term itself, you can see uh, the volume, competition, and cost per click. One other site that I wanted to bring to your attention that Keywords Everywhere works on is a site called Answer the Public. This is another keyword research tool that basically aggregates Google's uh, keyword data into questions and prepositions. So this can be very useful if you are trying to come up with uh, content and you really wanna discover what questions your audience might have. So I am going to type in our search term into the search bar here. And it's gonna show us questions, prepositions, and related keywords. And how it does it is it shows you it in a very neatly um, visual way. So here is Invisalign and here are all the questions from why, are, how, will, can, where, etc. It's a little hard to read in the visual format. So what I recommend is you come to data and that's where you can see the list of all the questions and that's where Keywords Everywhere is also going to show, show up and show you the search data. So this is a great way where you can match up what you're doing with Keywords Everywhere and go a little bit deeper with your keyword research. I just wanted to wrap up with some final tips for Keywords Everywhere. The first being, if you're gonna be doing casual searching on Google or another search engine, you're going to want to shut the Keywords Everywhere extension off. And to do that, you're going to go up to the icon and just simply click that to off. You're going to want to do this if you're just casually searching for, you know, dinner recipes. Because if you don't, if I've got this on and let's say I search dinner recipes, I'm going to get charged at least one credit for this data here up here in the search bar. So make sure you're shutting it off. You're gonna get a lot more length out of your credits. Now I did wanna bring up another point that is with a tool like Answer the Public, by me just simply doing the one search, it's showing me several <clears throat> results, probably you know a couple hundred here. Well, you can see that there's search data next to each one of these. So I'm getting charged one credit for each of these on Answer the Public. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you need to save on credits and you wanna use this particular site, you're gonna to wanna to shut that off as well. Or just keep in mind that you are going to uh, go through quite a few credits. 
Now I did some quick math and if you purchase the 100,000 credits for $10 and let's say you do 10 searches a day at roughly 40 credits per search, that would last you almost 250 days. So in my opinion, for the cost, Keywords Everywhere is still one of my go-to keyword research tools and it definitely should be one of yours. I can totally understand why they felt the need to go to this paid model due to the bot interference they were getting. And if they continue with this low pricing model, which I think they will, and based on some of the things I've read from their founder, that they really want to keep it a low cost tool, but felt that they had to go to this paid model due to the bot interference. If you've got additional questions on keywords everywhere or keyword research in general, leave me a comment below and check out some of my other videos on keyword research. I will have some links in the description below. And if you felt like you got value from this, I would love for you to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And when you see that bell pop up, click that too, and you'll get notified every time I post a new video. We'll see you in the next one.